The three East African heads of state have agreed to strengthen cooperation in the region by removing all trade barriers. In a communique signed by Paul Kagame of Rwanda, Kenya's Uhuru Kenyatta and President Museveni, it was decided that goods will be cleared much faster at the Mombasa port to reduce congestion and delay. Uganda's President Yoweri Museveni and Chair of the East African Community says he wants to see a large reduction in the number of days this takes. If all those trade barriers will be removed, and that's why you hear that we want to make East Africa one customs area, which means the paperwork will be done in Mombasa, for instance, and the vehicles will just drive non-stop. The East African states will also develop an oil pipeline from Eldoret in Kenya, which will link Uganda and Rwanda and another connecting to South Sudan. Uganda and Kenya have recently discovered oil and estimate they will be able to extract thousands of barrels each. Uganda's Foreign Affairs Minister Sam Kutesa says the country should now invest in a refinery. It was agreed that we would develop two oil pipelines. One pipeline that currently exists and brings products from Mombasa to Eldoret. It will be extended to Kampala and to Rwanda. Another pipeline for evacuation of crude oil when it starts flowing. This again will be done between Uganda, Southern Sudan, and Kenya, ending up in the port of Lamu. The heads of state also agreed to revamp the railway lines to create a link-up within the partner states in the region, establish East African identity cards, and work on generating electricity. Uganda, as the chair of the East African community, says this will help fast-track the integration process in the region. The decision to have free trade within the East African states is hoped will ease flow of goods and services and likely strengthen cooperation within the regional states. Isabel Nakiria, CCTV, Entebbe, Central Uganda.